is a Colebrook equation. It's the relation between the F epsilon by dh and Reynolds number. F here is the representation of pipe friction coefficient and epsilon by dh is what we call as relative roughness. If you closely inspect in this equations then it's a circular it's a form of the circular iterations because uh, upon changing this one by root under f by x then you see this expression converts into the form of x equals to f of type of equations which is the base for circular iterations as we have discussed in the previous screencast upside of my spreadsheet as here uh, I have already inserted these very equations to these shells which takes the input from this shell and gives the output into this shell and uh, our major job is to find the value of the friction coefficient in the pipe material based on these conditions this may vary according to the material type or the need of the project and uh, it spits out the value of x but our main motive is to find the pipe friction material which is generated by f so in this region i've converted the value of x to the f as 1 over x square so let's give it a try we initially assume uh, for these conditions and the value of x is fine to be 10 and as discussed in the previous screen cost uh, an easier and much efficient way is to go for the circular iterations for that in the x value I assign the value as the functional output which is f of x you have the value of x here satisfying these equations and from this I can say that the fr frictional value for these boundary conditions satisfying this Colebrook equation is 0.02 I have arranged this Reynolds number in this rows and relative roughness in this column. What I want to do is I want to find out the respective roughness coefficient values between this very Reynolds number and relative roughness table. And this is the baseline for the Moody chart diagram which is uh, the very diagram that the engineers used to deal the problems in the flow dynamics it's now let's populate this table between the Reynolds number and relative roughness for that we'll be using a special tool in the actual called a data table and it inputs uh, the two dimensional vectors in our case it's Reynolds, Reynolds number in the rows and relative roughness in the column for that we always need to uh, point out the desired expression to be as the output of this overall iterations which is in our case the pipe friction coefficients so first of all we need to assign the pipe friction coefficient which we previously obtained to this particular cells that is f here and i press enter now i go to data what if analysis and data table in the a row input cell what you have here is it's a Reynolds number so I assign the Reynolds number cell here and what you have in column it's a relative roughness so I assign the relative roughness value here and I press ok one thing here what we have forgot is we need to select the table before populating it so select the whole table go to the data table again and assign here the input tabs as Reynolds number in the row input and relative roughness in the column and uh, if I press ok then boom you have your Moody chart parameters here so this is how you perform the circular iterations in the actual and always remember to go for the circular iterations if you uh, are supposed to find out the solutions for the functions following the x equals to f of type of equations i hope you guys have enjoyed i'll see you in the next screencast so keep learning keep smiling bye bye for now